Physical separation, chemical separation, or combinations of both may remove carbon dioxide from power plant gas streams. Physical methods include cryogenic and membrane separations. Chemical methods include liquid solvents and solid sorbents. Cryogenic separation of carbon dioxide from a gas stream is a physical method in commercial use. It is based on differences in the temperatures at which gases condense to a liquid, or in the case of carbon dioxide, at normal atmospheric pressures, freeze directly to a solid. In specific, cooling a gas stream to below minus 88.5 degrees Celsius removes mercury, water, sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide, and nitrous oxide, yet allows nitrogen oxygen to pass. Cooling large volumes of flue gas to these temperatures requires a prohibitive amount of energy, but cooling the pre-combustion stream to purify small volumes of oxygen and nitrogen for IGCC or oxy-fuel combustion adds only about 15% of the fuel use of a power plant. Membrane separation, another physical method, depends on differences in partial pressures to transfer carbon dioxide or hydrogen across a gas permeable membrane. Development of membrane materials is an active area of research. Several industrial processes such as production of natural gas and ammonia use chemical substances to remove carbon dioxide from gas streams. These substances, once they become fully loaded with carbon dioxide, are isolated from the main gas stream and exposed to higher temperatures or lower pressures to release the carbon dioxide and regenerate their capacity for carbon dioxide removal from gas streams. A large number of liquid scrubbers for carbon dioxide are in commercial use, yet none for electric power generations have progressed beyond the pilot plant stage. 